let him come through, Decorum, please. Decorum, please. Yep. Decorum. Now, Neil Hamilton was stony-faced for the meeting that will decide his political future. The expectations of a tense occasion had been building up all evening, but Mr Hamilton's supporters were out in force. I support him. I said if he's telling lies through his teeth, then he's the best actor I've ever met. And Mr Hamilton also had a celebrity friend to back him, local Coronation Street star Bill Roach. But the real high spot came earlier in the day on Nutsford Common. Neil Hamilton and his wife Christine were determined to upstage the TV journalist who'd invaded their constituency. Why have you come here today? I'm going to ask Mr Bell a question. And Martin Bell arrived without any further prompting. You know Mr Hamilton's here? No, it's fine. Where is he? And then, in his white suit, suggesting trust and integrity, off he strode to meet them, promising a fair fight. I really want this to be a sort of a decent, free, dignified campaign. Good. So that when it's over, we can just shake hands and walk away. I <laughs> congratulate you all, commiserate with you, and you do the same with me. Really good. Good. But it was Mr. Hamilton who'd sought the confrontation and struck first. And I've only come along this morning to ask one question, really, <laughs> because. You're presenting yourself in the Tatton constituency, which I've represented for mm. 14 years as mm. an anti-corruption candidate. Mm -hmm. And the irresistible inference which is to be drawn from that is that you think I'm guilty in some shape or form of corruption. And so I'd really like to know from you what allegations of corruption I'll, you think I'm guilty I'll of. Give you, I'll give you my answer. I don't actually intend to talk about you at all, all people are going to ask me about you. I want you to run on your record or against your record, whatever it is. I want a, a clear election. I may talk about trust. I think the issue of trust is important. Um, and if at the end of their day, the electors of Tatton feel they can trust you more than they can trust me, then my goodness, they should elect you. That's reasonable, isn't it? But, I mean, you must admit that the tendentious title that you've chosen for your candidature as being anti-corruption and the selection of this particular constituency, mm. which is now indelibly Actually, connected with me. I haven't chosen it must draw I have not the chosen this title. I'm going to stand as an independent. And I'm going to lay out my stall on a lot of issues, because if I'm expecting people to vote for me, they've got to know where I stand on things like education and Europe and so on. And I would do that after after nomination if assuming you're going to make it tonight, and I'm just... Of course he's going to make it tonight. Make it tonight. I'm in the, I'm in now it was the turn of Mrs Hamilton to stand up for her husband. Do you accept uh, that a man is innocent unless proved guilty? Yes, of course I do. That's, so you that's accept not, that my husband is innocent? Too, I think there's do a lot of... Do you accept that my husband is no, innocent? I'm not going to face an ambush here. Let's just, let's just, see, let's just see what comes out. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm standing here well, because you a lot of local people now. have asked me yeah. to stand here. And the impetus comes from local people and let them just choose between us. I thought it came from a dinner party. I, 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 I would just like to say then that you are prepared to give me the benefit of the doubt on the allegations that have been made against absolutely, you. Absolutely, absolutely good. So the Hamiltons got one significant concession. There we are. I don't want to hijack the whole press conference. Well, you haven't done bad, but, uh, <laughs> I'm supposed to be the guy who manipulates the media. Well done. So, ambush accomplished, the Hamiltons departed. Martin Bell prepared for a walkabout with Colonel Bob Stewart, a friend from his days in Bosnia, and he's relishing by the hour the chance to fight it all the way to polling day.